Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I have a bread and butter bolo video for you guys. I have 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I bought low and see, sold for $35 or less. I pick my items up at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, YouTube auctions, you name it, wherever I can get it cheap. Um, Facebook Marketplace, I'm trying to dabble a little, little more in that. Um, Let's get started. 29 coming your way. And I am a full time reseller and I used to sell clothing only retail arbitrage clothing from 2005 up till about two years ago. And that is when I started my Facebook group and my Bola Buddies YouTube channel. And I basically did it to learn and help others learn. And I consider myself a Bolo finder now. Um, I find a lot of bread and butter, but I do have my big money bolos. And if you haven't checked out my big money bolo videos, definitely check them out. They're some of my favorites, obvious for obvious reasons. All right, let's check out some of these bread and butter. Okay, the first item is this Silly Santa, uh, uh, what is it, a tablecloth. I think I got this at a garage sale. I don't know. I've had this so long. Um, it's long tail, but I did make a profit. I probably paid 50 cents, maybe a dollar for it. And I sold it for $16 and 99 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. So, um, is it something I highly recommend? I don't know, but if you've got the space, it'll sell eventually, but it did take a while. The next item I sold is this how to train your dra dragon hidden world matching game. It was new. It was sealed. It was in a mystery box. So I probably have a dollar or less in it. And I took a best offer of $12 and 10 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this Disney Winnie the Pooh and friends lot of six little uh, cake toppers slash toys. I picked this up probably at a garage sale or um, in a mystery box or something like that. I think this was a garage sale and I sold these for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. I am one of those people that goes to garage sales and I bundle, bundle, bundle. So a lot of the things I don't have an exact price for you, but, um, so those toys were probably a dollar or less. Okay. So this is a Jose Cuervo. It's a, just a collector's box. And if you missed it, you got to go watch it. It's my, I got it free garage sale video. I got so many treasures free. Um, it was at right after when they were starting to let people go out with a mask, um, we weren't quarantined any longer, but people were still very hesitant. And these people were moving and they decided to have a garage sale. And I don't think a lot of people came to their garage sale. And my sister sent me a message saying, hey, there's a garage sale down the road. And I was like, I haven't been to a garage sale forever. I wanna go so bad. So I put on my mask and I drove over there and they're like, everything is free. You can have whatever you want. We're getting ready to move. You know, then the thrift stores weren't taking stuff. So you guys go watch that video. I am telling you, I'll try to remember to share it, but I know I'll forget. I always forget, but, um, just put uh, free, go to my YouTube channel and type in like search the videos for the word free and you should see it. So I ended up selling this for $30. There were comps that were higher for this. I probably could have held out for more but I got it free, somebody offered me 30 bucks, so I went ahead and took it, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I got at a garage sale for a dollar, it's the Land Before Time Triceratops plush, and I sold this for $29.75, the buyer paid shipping, and this sold pretty quickly. The next item are these light bright refill sheets, they're from the 70s and the 80s, and I thought these were gonna be like a bolo, and they were gonna sell super fast. They did not sell super fast, but they did finally sell, I probably have a buck or less in them and I sold them for $16.99, buyer paid shipping, but it did take the right buyer. The next item, um, I've been talking about this tote that was in my basement for like a year, year and a half, something crazy, maybe two years, who knows? And it was just a tote of toys that I picked up at a garage sale and a lot of the toys were vintage, but I just did not wanna take on that task. Well, this year I took on that task and I've been doing really well. And these little lifesavers sold for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. And they're vintage with two Vs. Did you know that vintage was spelled with two Vs? I just found that out. Uh, on another post, um, I didn't notice it. And I put shirts instead of shorts. 
So uh, when you do videos, you catch all your mistakes. So they're little bendable figures, super cute. The next item I sold is this vintage deer. I can't remember where I got this, but I almost didn't list it because of the, the paint. And I'm getting tired. You can tell I'm kind of stuttering over my words. Um, right in here, you know, it's, it's not, it's not perfect, but I do really well with de deer. Um, they can be plastic deer. They can be flocked deer. They can be ceramic porcelain. I don't know. I just do great with deer. So whenever I see them, I pick them up, but I think this might've come out of a mystery box. It sold for full asking price of $16 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold came out of a mystery box. Also, um, it's a minion and it talks, I think, I don't know exactly, talking jail time minion. It sold for $14.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, as you can see, it's got some staining. It's not in great shape, but um, comps were decent. So I went ahead and listed it and it, I took a best offer of $13.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This was also one of those items that was in that tote that was in my basement. This one I think would have sold quicker if I would not have covered up half the card with the envelope. I don't know what I was thinking. I even had somebody message me saying, can I see the whole card? And I'm like, no, I'm not redoing pictures. Anyway, finally sold. The person asked me if they come with the envelopes. I'm like, yeah, they come with the envelopes. Um, thought that was a weird question since the envelopes are in the picture. But anyway, covering up the card, like what was I doing? These sold for $24.59, buyer paid shipping. And if I remember correctly, these did sell internationally. This Kelly toy elephant, I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. It sold for $15 best offer, buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage sale, there was a whole bunch of these little books and their ornaments and these sell really well. They are a great bread and butter item. I have done super, super well with these. Um, I think I might have one left, maybe. I mean, I've probably sold between eight and 10 of them and they're just bread and butter items, but they've sold well. Uh, so I probably had, you know, 10, 15, 25 cents. I'm not really sure, but not much. And it sold for 13 11 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up for a quarter and they were in the quarter box. And I was like at a garage sale and I was like, I'm going to try these. Not something I would normally pick up, but a quarter. I sold them for $14 best offer buyer paid shipping and they sold pretty quickly. The next item I sold is this Pink Panther watch. I picked it up at a thrift store for $1. It sold very quickly with a best offer of 15 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy plate bowl uh, from 1969. And this had some staining. Um, they weren't like in mint condition or anything, but they were super cute. I paid a buck for them at a garage sale and I sold them for best offer $12 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this uh, Bob the Builder Mini Orange Dizzy Diecast Cement Mixer. This is, again, one of those items that most of you would not take the time to. And I shouldn't say that. I'm kind of like speculating. But a lot of people have told me that they won't waste their time with items that sell for $10 or less. Um, this is, I listed it at $12. And it sold for $12. So um, I do take the time to look these up because from time to time, I will find an item that looks like this that'll be worth $20. Um, and if you don't look it up, you don't know. And if I see that they're selling for 12 and I paid like 10 cents for it, I I'm going to take those margins and I'm going to list it. So I don't know. That's just me. What do you guys think? Would you list an item if your profits were only going to be 5 to $10 profit? The next item I sold are these Melissa and Doug Victorian doll set. These are... Um, dollhouse figures and they are super super cute they are hard to find um i sold these for a best offer uh nope i'm sorry i got full asking price of 33 dollars 99 i picked these up at a garage sale and i paid a dollar the next item is another item that i looked up and i took the time to look it up so i went ahead and listed it again i listed it at 12 dollars. actually i listed it at 14.99 but it was on sale for 12.74 and that is what it sold for. And the buyer paid the shipping. So again, would you waste your time with this? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. 
Uh, Paw Patrol Rider. He's, this is a scuba diver from the Sea Patroller. Again, the Sea Patroller um, items seem to do pretty well. So definitely be on the lookout for those. This guy sold for $11.90 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lego Bionicle. It sold for $30.60, the buyer paid shipping. And I picked this up in a big box of Bionicles. The next item sold for... $20 best offer buyer paid shipping. It's an American girl pet dog cat carrier and pet bed. This came from a garage sale. I picked up like a whole box of American girl and a whole box of Build-A-Bear and I've done really well with those items. I definitely recommend looking for those items. These were in that tote. <laughs> um, they're McDonald's toys. They're NFL football players and I sold these for $10 best offer in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, um, I had a video on this. So I had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles play set that I picked up at a garage sale. If I remember correctly, it was $5, but it was missing pieces. And I put the thing together and then I took it apart and I decided to list the items individually like this and like this. Has it paid off? Yes. Is it a lot of work? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. And no. So it depends on your business model. These are going to be bread and butter items. So if you don't like bread and butter items, I don't recommend it. If you do, then it's worth the time it takes. But um, some of the items are long tail. Some of them sold quickly, but I will make way more money parting it out. And between the two items, they paid $18.50 plus shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage, I'm sorry, I picked it up at a thrift store and I paid $1.75. Each item was priced separately. This is a magnet. These are stickers. They are from Mr. Men Little Miss um, magnets and stickers from 2008. They are discontinued. I sold these for $25.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And the cost of all the items was $1.75. The next item I sold is this Two Faced Dual Destruction Batman. And again, just a bread and butter item that I sold for $10.20. I picked it up at a garage sale and the buyer paid the shipping. I think it was a garage sale. The next item are these Baldwin Silver Polish Brass Napkin Rings. I got these at a garage sale. I paid 50 cents per set. Um, this was a great garage sale. Their prices were fantastic and I made a lot of money from this garage sale. But I had one left and it sold for $21.24 and the buyer paid shipping. I'm pretty sure the other three sets sold to the same person. And the last item I sold, um, I almost didn't buy these because they're a size 6W. And size 6 is a really hard size for me to tell, to tell, to sell. And I know that because I've sat on these items in the past. But I thought they were different and comps were pretty good. So I went ahead and picked them up at a thrift store. I actually think it was a Goodwill. I can't remember. It, it was a thrift store regardless, but I believe they were half off. So I got them for $2 and 50 cents. The buyer paid the shipping and I took a best offer of $25. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. That was 29 bread and butter bolo items that you can be on the lookout for. Again, I try to let you guys know if items are long tail. I still think they're worth picking up because my profits were good. But um, some people, it just depends on how much storage space you have and what you're looking for. So when you search comps, definitely look at like the sell through rate and stuff like that. I, I buy stuff in bulk all the time. So I am happy letting things sit. I have over 5,000 listings and it, I just don't pay attention. I just let them sit until the right buyer comes along. That is my business model. It is not for most people, but it works for me. Uh, there's going to be some other videos that are getting ready to pop up. You can subscribe right here if you haven't already. Be sure to leave me a comment. That helps me in the algorithm, they say. And um, I'd appreciate it greatly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And you can check out videos, I don't know, over there, over here and over here. They're going to be popping up. You're probably seeing them already. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.